Have you ever been caught in an unfamiliar place, maybe in the middle of the night? On the side of the road. Stranded, maybe from a car breakdown. Or, or like a weather emergency. Sure, severe storm. Blizzard. Or maybe you've been caught in a building, maybe at work or when you were out and about and mm -hmm. you got caught in severe weather and you had to stay somewhere over the night unfamiliar. Um, these things actually happen to people all the time. Yeah, it's never actually world. happened to me though. No, um, I've been caught a couple of times <laughs> out in on the side of the road with breakdowns in the middle of the night far from home yeah. and uh, it's a scary feeling mm -hmm. really is a scary feeling that's kind of what we're going to talk about today is um well something frankie you and i put this together or these together yes um about a year and a half ago we finally did a couple of dedicated right yeah kits. we really did mm -hmm. they have a few different names we call it the get home bag get home bag right mm -hmm. but there's some different terminology out there for it if you search it Urban survival kit. Urban survival kit. This kind of goes with that as well. Yeah, a bug out bag. Bug out bag, sure. And then a new one, a go bag. Go bag is the one I'm seeing lately. Not to be confused with ho bag. <laughs> did you really just say that? <laughs> Yes, I did. <laughs> G, not H. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that substitute any of the names. It's kind of a lot of the same. You're going to find a lot of the same stuff in here. And yeah. for every bag that you do, it's going to be tuned to your specific needs. Well, and the reason why we call it a get home bag is, mm -hmm. honestly, you want to be able to just get home. Like, that's the main thing. You don't want to have to survive out in the wilderness for, like, weeks at a time. You this just want true. to be able to just get home. Right. And in our situation, either one of us work very far um, from where we live, which is nice. If yeah. we had to, we could, <laughs> we could walk home. If we had to, yes. Right. Um, in different circumstances. Um, so we're going to talk about that here. I, this is my backpack that I carry, and th things inside it change depending on where I'm going or w what I'm doing. Um, but a lot of this get home bag applies to my backpack on a regular right. basis. Mm -hmm. We've got our smaller, more convenient kits here. This one's kind of the... Like backpacking version of it. Right, and this one you carry every this day. This one's always in the car with me, too. Right. Yeah. And this or I is bring a, it into work. Sure. This is a dedicated uh, first aid kit. Yep, this is a... Yeah, tons of really good first aid materials and in it's there. red we did that on purpose of course mm -hmm. for first aid this is this is kept in a central spot in the house where we know it's where it's at yes. um, and then we take it with us on different things as needed mm -hmm. but uh, today we're just going to talk about the primary get home bag yes okay? this is the one that travels with us pretty much all the time it's always in the vehicle sure. that we're driving with mm -hmm. on big trips all the time yeah, um, and like I said, we put two of these together. I'd say we have um, enough for almost three of these kits yeah, right now. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff There's for some them. redundancy, but uh, let's take a look at the items in this kit, and uh, we'll kind of go through them. And the other thing, too, it's been a little while since we updated this kit, and every now and then you want to go through and say, hey, I, I could substitute this for yeah. that. Or, or maybe you took something out of it. Exactly. So exactly. you want to just make sure you replace what you took out of it. Sure. So let's take a look at the bag, shall we? Okay, yep. Okay, here is all of the contents of the bag. It always seems like so much more when you take it out. It does. All of this fits in that bag. Yep. Okay. Uh, well, let's just get right into it. The bag itself. I was given some advice, or maybe I heard it on YouTube um, a while back before we started this, that you don't want to buy the bag first. You want to buy mm -hmm. the items that you need and then, you know, find the bag that will fulfill that, that will hold that, um, mm -hmm. the items. Okay, this one in particular is kind of like a mini duffel bag. Yeah, well, and the color, we got this color because it matches the interior of our car more, mm -hmm. so it kind of camouflages in there. Right, if we if we do leave it, right? Yeah. Um, what's the brand here, just, just in case? It's just next, next pack. Yeah, this was cheap, um, yeah. and it's, it's done very well. Mm -hmm. We've carried this quite a bit. Um, well, uh, what do we have we on have there? We have one of the Ganza whistles on there, and mm -hmm. then a little compass. I think we do have another whistle somewhere in one of the yeah, bags. Yeah, we do. Yeah. I just but threw that, that on top. Guys from the Ganzo knives, a few of them come with this. Why not? Throw it in one of your emergency kits. Yep. You know, a whistle could be used for all kinds of different scenarios. Yeah, a little compass. All right. Well, so what are we talking about? We're talking about a get-home bag or a, an emergency. you got to stay the night somewhere you're not familiar with yep. kind of thing. Or who knows? I mean, the scenarios are kind of endless. I mean, yeah, they really are. Terrorism these days. It's Nowadays, real. Nowadays, yep. It's real. What if it was a situation where you were out and about during the day and some city blocks were quarantined true yeah. for whatever reason yeah. okay um and you just had to you had to stay put and you had to potentially defend yourself mm 
-hmm. and, and survive, right? It's, an, this, it's, it's a scenario that we might be more familiar with. Right. I mean, days. it's, you know, it's probably far out there, but there's, there's any number of scenarios. To include zombies. <laughs> yes, exactly. Let's just throw it out there. What if the zombies come out? Yeah, you never know. All right, People let's get start into this. turning. You never know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Um, over here on the far left, we've got, well, it's this SOS. This is some Coast Guard food. Yes, it is highly dense Calorie -wise. calories, and mm -hmm. it actually tastes pretty good. It tastes like pie crust, which is pie crust, yeah. kind of nice. So 2,400 calories in this brick, right? And there's little cookies inside there. Mm -hmm. We've tasted it. We bought this on... <laughs> on tasting it. <laughs> on, on taste, yeah. Um, we, yeah. We've actually got a bunch of these. And we keep one of these in the bag. Mm -hmm. um, we could probably up that amount. But again, you know, just well, enough to survive. Well, yeah, it's really just to get home. Right, yeah. Um, and then we have one of these guys. That Shemog. You, Shemog. Yeah. That you can use for to protect yourself. You could use it for blanket, any number of things. You, know. you could shield your face with it. You could use it as a... You know, filter system. You could use it in first aid. All kinds, all kinds of stuff. Of things. Yeah. What is this? Light stick. We've never tested one of these. We have a few of them. I did when I was a kid. Yeah, me too. I've just I don't even know if these actual ones work yeah. very well. Um, put by the side of the road or somehow get somebody's attention at night, perhaps. Mm-hmm. What have we got here? Guys. Well, that's the thing. In in um, heavy bleeding, in emergency uh, first aid situations, that's what you need. You yeah, need to you absorb need blood, to, right? Yep, you need it. So um, I have some of this paracord, which mm -hmm. is nice. This is the reflective type. We probably should up that amount yeah. too, by the way. I think well, we used to I have think more. I have some. Yeah, yeah. somewhere else too. That's part of what we're doing now, guys. Is we're just going through it and updating. Mm -hmm. um, some pens and markers, of course. Let's yep. see what else we got. This is a cold pack. This is one that you snap and it releases the cold, and it's an immediate cold press. Be good for first aid situations, uh -huh. sure. And then we usually have the 22 revolver. Let's just go ahead and show that real quick. Careful, it is loaded, of course. And the 22 revolver. Right. There we go. Yep. Um, now, well, sorry, oh, go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt, but uh, I'm just going to say this is not always necessarily in the bag because mm -hmm. I might be carrying this. Right. Or it might be in the bag. It depends. It depends on the situation. If the bag's being left in the car, the gun isn't in the car, that kind of thing. Um, it's. It may or may not be in the bag. If it's not yeah. on me, it's probably in the bag. It varies sometimes. It, it depends, yeah. Um, so let's go here. This is more of like the Coast Guard stuff. Mm -hmm. It is actually <laughs> purified water. Water packets, you uh -huh. guys. So they're individual packets there. They're made to go with the, the cookie. <laughs> um, <laughs> cookie and water. It's a nice yeah. meal. You know, it's, meal. it's not a lot, but it's enough to, if you're eating, to be able to, you know, kind of swallow the food. Yeah get the food down well okay yes and then we have this too in case there's a water source nearby we, you can we just your own water yeah we just updated this too um because we had one of these and we thought we, we need to buy more because they're not very expensive these life straws yeah if you have a water source just in nature somewhere or in an urban environment somewhere you can drink it and yep. not get sick okay um, I think there is some limitations, but in general, um, mm -hmm. you're going to do just like fine if with you were in a blizzard and like you, you know, melted snow or something mm -hmm. like that. It'd be nice to filter it. Yeah. Um, you wear contacts, so we have a set of glasses. Just now this to, this is really important, isn't it? Yes, because like if you think about it, think about it. If you cannot have your contacts or something happens. Mm -hmm. You need to be able to see. It's a kind of like a, a major thing. This is like a realistic thing. It doesn't even have to be an emergency situation. I don't situation. think anybody ever realizes that, like, if you are, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and, guys, this is an old pair of glasses. Prescription dependent. Right. Something happens, you are out of luck if you cannot see. <laughs> you can't see. You can't do much. Um, this is an old prescription. I'm talking mm -hmm. maybe five years old. Yeah. So it's a little off, but I can see a lot better with these than with nothing. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, so so it's good to just throw an extra pair I, in. And I've got another pair in the other bag as well. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, this is kind of miscellaneous stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so headbands, keep sweat out of your eyes if you need to. Some moleskin. Talk about moleskin. Moleskin is for like blisters. Yeah. So it's really nice like if something happened where you it's, have to start walking a lot. Right, right. And protect it. Um, flashlight, silicone gel. You can grab these out of a lot of things and just throw them in the pack to keep moisture out. Keep moisture out, yeah. Um, batteries. Now we have spare batteries for everything that we have in this kit, which yes. is, I think, just double A's and triple A's. It is, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. some cotton, chapstick, what else? Chapstick. There's actually another compass in here, too. Okay, yep. Um, a set of fingernail clippers. Nice. And you know what? Again, non-emergency situation. It's just nice to be able to say, oh, we do have a set yeah, of those. Yeah, think about, you know, like, when you get a nasty hangnail in the car and you... 
or you're in a hotel somewhere yeah. and it's just, you know, it's like, oh, I've got one in the bag, right? Yep. Yeah. And then, okay, so we have usually a multi-tool in the bag, too. I just upgraded to this yep. one. Yeah, so we just threw this one in there mm -hmm. that we just did. Yeah, that is the Leatherman uh, Juice. Got a good deal on that one. Uh, a little box of ammo, too. <laughs> Let's go ahead and show this. So it's 22 long rifle for the 22. Yep. I mean, it's it's overkill. I don't think you're going to need all this ammo. <laughs> if you're in a situation where you have to reload, that really sucks. Yeah. But look at, we've got it anyway. Look at that. 295 from June of 2014. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it would sell for double that in some cases these <laughs> Sometimes, days. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. Okay, this is another just kind of emergency pack, too. Kleenex. Kleenex Plastic. can be used for all kinds of things, uh-huh. <laughs> Think about this too. Sunscreen, that is a good option because if you have to walk really far from oh, yeah. one location to the next, like mm -hmm. in the dead of summer, yeah, yeah. You, you're, you're gonna, gonna burn, that. so you Another might want Another use this. for the yeah. shamog. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. Um, some earplugs, a hair thing. This is actually a glow-in-the-dark one too, which is yeah. interesting. Um, some rubber gloves. And um, if you have a female around, you might need some other stuff some too. Product specific. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, hand warmers. We only have one bag in here. Oh uh, yeah. Maybe we got into it. <laughs> I, think, I think we may have. See, that's the thing. Yeah. When you have these emergency bags, you're gonna use them mm -hmm. in in non-emergency situations. You're gonna be like, hey, you know what? I've got this in there, and you need to replace it. <laughs> and this is one of those times where, like, we're gonna, you know, before we repack this bag, we're gonna add stuff to it, right? You know what I was gonna say too for the female stuff too. This is an awesome first aid option too. Why not? <laughs> because it is amazing with absorbing blood. If you think about it that way, it actually works quite well. So if you have a really enough. nasty like Enough said there, wound. sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can only imagine. A more well, knife. Yeah. You haven't this seen is a, a lot companion. of Right. You haven't seen a lot of more knives on our channel, but we've got them stashed. We have them everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. We take them out like in real use situations. You want a Mora knife. And they're like 15 bucks. That's yep. a companion. Yeah. Speaking of companion. Okay. It's a dual survivor blanket. Oh, that looks like us. <laughs> it doesn't it look just like us. <laughs> so it's one of the space ones, but a double what version. Right. Because we're usually together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's one of the big ones. Yeah. And then if we get bored, we can play some cards. Hey, a power outage somewhere, you're stuck in a building, you might be bored. You might yep. be waiting something out. You're right? gonna just play some cards. Possibly. Um we actually have a thing of medication. Variety pack of ibuprofen, um, pain reliever, pain reliever, cold medicine. There's actually sleep aid in there as well. There is. There's um, anti diarrhea because mm -hmm. that's a really bad thing if you are out and about. Yep. Anything that you need specific to you, you want mm -hmm. those backups. Again, we have used this in non-emergency situations. Right. Be like, oh, I forgot to take that medicine. We have it. Oh, yeah. we had it on us. Yep. We have one of these little SAS survival guides. Just a pickup so, at, a, at a gun show. Mm -hmm. um, very good stuff, and it's portable enough that you just put it in a bag. Hey, yep. if nothing else, it's entertainment while you're it, yeah, bored waiting for, It's you know. time killer. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. fun to read through. Yeah. Um, then we have garbage bags. Garbage bags, yep. Could always find uses for that, yep. including rain shelter. Rain, yep. Right? Some change. Um, okay. <laughs> there used to be cash in here. <laughs> there used to be cash in here, guys. That is one of the problems with these bags. <laughs> I think there used to be $30 in loose bills, and it's like, that's uh, that's what we're left with. <laughs> Stupid vending machines. Okay. Yeah. Okay, some more zip ties. Zip ties. Can't go wrong with and that. And honestly, too, we have rubber bands on everything just mm -hmm. for extra. Sure, sure. We have... Mace, spray. which we showed you, we, we keep these everywhere, including the go bags uh -huh. or the, the get home bags, right? Yep. And then um, one of the flashlights. I just upgraded. Now yep. these take the three triple A's. Now there's batteries in it, but then we've got spares as well. This is one of the Ozark Trail cheapies. Yep, and it's a good great. one. they're great. They're excellent, especially yep. for a bag like this. And then this is our little fire starter set. If we needed to make fire, we can do it in here. Yep, we have flint. We have waterproof matches. Mm -hmm. We have... Trioxane. Trioxane. That stuff is awesome. Yeah, it really buy, is. It's it super bulk, cool. Yeah. And actually, here's another one of the whistles. Mm -hmm. um, actually, two whistles in here. Right. We are going to just... And more zip ties. Whistle uh, Whistle. why we work. Did you get that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's stupid, I know. Hey, look at this. A random Ozark Trail knife. Okay. Yeah, the blue one. Nice. Yeah, again, I, I forget which model this is, but again, it's just like, it's an ex It's another knife. You just throw it in, and it's perfect. I don't even... In a weird situation, you know, if, if I lost my knife, or somehow forgot one, I've always got a pocket knife. Well, and, and you can plate, always but. use it for, um, like, for first aid or anything like that. Because sure. you need to cut stuff. Sure. Um, a pair of gloves. Maybe if it's uh, if you're on the side of the road and you need to change tire, 
We need a pair of gloves. We need another pair of gloves in there for you. Yes, yes. Besides we do. the latex ones, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Getting down there. Um, random Coban. Coban. Got this I, stuff this is, is awesome. the best invention, I swear. Ever. It works very well. <laughs> I yep. love that stuff. Yep. And we usually have a dog with us too. Um, so on a trip, we gotta have extra about, dog food. Got to think about your dog. And if you get really, really hungry, you could always eat it if you had to. <laughs> Worst case scenario. <laughs> What's funny is I think we have more dog food in there than, people than we have food. calories in here and people food. Yeah. yeah. We take well, care of our, our bodies. Yep. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. They eat before us. That's everything. We're going to repack this with a couple of additions probably if we can make it fit. Um, yeah, that's it. That's that's an example of one of our get home bags. Like I say, if you guys want to see more on the first aid and the other kits yeah, in the we future, should, we'll make one of those. We yeah. can do that. Yeah. Um, but for now, this is uh, an example of what we carry, carry with us. And again, it's an example of not necessarily EDC on your person, but if you have something like this near you. Yes, exactly. If you have quick access to this stuff. You know, yeah. right? Well, and on, and we have actually used it quite a bit too. We have here and there, like on road trips, we'll be like, for oh, different we've things, got this and that or this, or you know, and for realistic use, these actually make sense. These mm -hmm. really have come in handy. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think that's everything on this one. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot for joining us, guys.